Hello everyone! Welcome to class. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, let's go and find our props. Put them on the side so it's easier for you to grab them. If you have been following with me in all of my videos, thank you so much. Um, it's been so long since I uploaded a new one, but please comment, like, subscribe, let me know how your practice will be today. We're going to start here first in our Suptabara Konasana or Recline Butterfly Pose. Go ahead and plant the feet together as you open the knees to the sides. Take your hands up and overhead, maybe hands on opposite elbows, and begin to settle into your practice, settle into the breath. Allowing yourself to be here in your present moment. Feel free to close the eyes if it feels safe for you today. Just finding awareness in how your breathing is right now. Allow everything to soften. And just finding a few moments to notice how you're breathing. Let each breath be filled with an intention. Let each feeling not be labeled as good or bad or right or wrong. Let's go inside your practice. Take your knees together, eyes still close, extend both of your feet up, hands up and overhead. Give yourself one good stretch. Lengthen as you inhale. And then slowly as you exhale, bend the left knee to the height. Right leg still strong and long. Open the left side hip, clockwise and counterclockwise on that bent knee, bent leg. Inhale to press to the heart. Exhale to release. One more. Keeping the press as you release. Let go with the hands. One more. Left knee to the heart. And then release. And then clasp. And then release. One more. In. And then release. Slowly pull it towards your left side. Maybe take a quick opening here. Nothing too painful. Pressing with the left hand, left knee drops to the mat. Breathing in. Breathing out. Come back center. Reclining side twist. The left knee to the right side. Heart faces sky. Left shoulder grounded to the mat. In through the nose, out through the nose, release, come back center, let's go find figure four here, left hand, take the left knee away, option to stay here, let's go clasp our hands on our right shin, our right thigh, notice this opening in your outer left glute, inner left thigh, release. Extend that left leg to the top. Clasp your feet, your fingers on your left big toe as you extend the right leg forward. Inhale. Exhale. Shoulders all the way down to the mat. Soften the face. Relax the head. Swing the leg to the left side. Pointer flex the left foot. Notice the lengthening here. Breathing in. Breathing out, release, come back, center, right hand on the outer left foot, this time we're going to swing it towards the right. Keeping with this twist, all of your shoulders are grounded down to the mat. Soften the face, come back, center, bend the left knee, and then trying everything on the opposite side. Right knee bends to the heart, left foot to the top of the mat. Inhale as we press. Exhale, release, but keeping that right knee really pressing in. Inhale and exhale. One more. Press it in and then squeeze to the heart. Release the hands. One more in and then release. One more in and then we're going to swing that right knee, right leg towards the right side. Taking a cute swing, nothing too painful. Find gentleness here at the start of our practice. With the right hand, we're going to press the right knee down to the mat. Notice the feeling of this opening on this side. Come back center, reclining side twist, right knee to the left. Come 
come back center. Let's go find a figure four. Right ankle on your left quad. Stay here or let's clasp your hands on your left thigh or maybe on your left shin. Keeping your shoulders relaxed. Soften the face. Notice where this feels. Release the left foot. Let's go with your fingers on that right big toe this time, extending it long. And then left toes to the top of your mat. Inhale. And exhale. Breathing in. And then exhale, swing it to the right side. Pointer flex, keeping that right leg extended. Take a micro bend in the knee if this is too much. Always notice how you can take a step back. If something feels off, come back center, right, left hand on your outer right foot this time. Side twist with your right leg extended long. Breathing in. Breathing out. Release. Right knee bends. And then slowly release. Shake the legs. Plant the feet. Swing it side to side. Windshield wipers. Come back here to your center, find your happy baby. Hands on your outer heels or inner if you have today, maybe swinging in extended happy baby. See what feels good for your legs. You have done so much opening on the hips at this point as early as this point. So see what feels good, nothing too much. But if you're there, go ahead, extend it long, keep it open. Swing it if you have some more and then release. Let's go rock ourselves towards the top, finding ourselves in our tabletop. Inhale to your cow, belly down, heart opens, gaze up, exhale, round the back to your cat, chin to chest. One more, inhale and exhale round the back breathing in undulate with intention exhale release inhale through the nose exhale out through the nose come back center swinging the hips side to side extend all of your hands forward let's find your puppy pose heart down forehead or maybe your throat your chin down breathing in soften the face Breathing out. Inhale, ripple forward. Let's go to your sphinx. Shoulders back on your elbows. Open the palms. Maybe extend your arms. Seal pose. Pressing your hips down. Navel presses to the spine. Shoulders away. Maybe find opening on the neck here. Right ear to the right shoulder. Left ear to the left shoulder. Maybe gazing up, open the throat. Exhale, elbows down. Slowly come back. Bend the knees, flex the feet, and then swing side to side. Release the tension on your low back, on your legs. Left hand to a T, bend the right knee, step that right foot at the back of your left leg, open the front of your left shoulder. Come back center, try it on the opposite side, right hand to a T, step that left foot at the back of your right leg. Release. Center this time, find Sphinx pose once more. Bend the left knee, point or flex the left foot, left hand catches the inner left foot to the back. Finding this quick opening, maybe extend that right arm if you have some more. Maybe press the left foot at the bum, maybe to the left hip. Just an option. See what feels good. Release with grace. Let's try this on the opposite side. Right knee bends. Circle the right hand to the back. Find your inner left foot. Kick it strong or... You're going to press that right foot to the bum or beside the inner right hip. Release. Once you're good. 
Bend the knees again, swing the legs side to side. Release it tension on your low back if you dumped it bad. Let's go find our hands beside the chest, tuck both of your feet. And as all they rise, chaturanga, engage the core. And then come to your plank, first one. Tuck the tailbone, engage the core. And then exhale to your first downward facing dog. Add humokashmasana. Bend the hips, maybe bend the knees. Give yourself permission to find movement or find stillness. Notice how you're breathing at this point. Find awareness in all of your hands and all of your feet. Let's go. Heels up. Ripple forward to your plank. Hips down. Charge up dog. Firm the inner thighs. Bend the knees. Shoot your hips back. Downward facing dog. One more round. Spinal wave. Notice each and every vertebrae open up. Shift forward, hips down, charge up dog. Inhale, bend the knees, downward facing dog. Very nice, more fluid this time. Heels up, ripple forward, hips down, up dog. Bend the knees, downward facing dog. Left leg up high, three-legged dog. Bend the knee, hip joint mandala. Extend that left leg to the left side and then step the left foot beside the left pinky. Lizard lunge. Roll the shoulders down and back. Heart opens forward. Inhale. And exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. Option to go further. Forearms down to your mat. Back center, wide-legged half split. Extend the left leg, toes flex to the face. Keeping your heart pressing forward here. In through the nose and out through the nose. Rebend from back center, left hand reaches up and then back, finding length first. And then if you have some more today, we're going to lean back. We're going to bend the right knee so that we can catch the outer right foot here with the left hand. Release with grace. Left hand down. Tuck the right foot. Right knee up. Wide legged pyramid pose. Maybe four arms can ground down. Keeping the length. Keeping the strength. Rebend to the left knee, come back, low lunge, left hand up, and then swing it back. And then release, come back center. Three-legged dog, inhale. Come down, downward facing dog, release, opposite side, hip joint, mandala. And then slowly step that right foot beside the right pinky, lizard lunge. Once you're ready, forearms can go deeper here to the mat. Only if it's allowed. Release on your next breath. Let's go find a half split wide legged this side. Forearms still stay down. Flexing the right foot to the face. Heart reaching forward. Release, rebend into the right knee, right hand up, and swing it to the back. Maybe kicking that left leg, left foot, to the right hand, open the right shoulder. Breathe in long. Breathing out, release. Left leg gently presses and extends wide-legged pyramid pose. Maybe forearms can stay down, or maybe just the hands. Rebend, right hand up, and then back, commit to the twist. And then release, right hand down. 
Swing it back, three-legged dog. Come back, downward facing dog. Reset. Heels up, bend the knees, step forward, Uttanasana. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale to fold. Halfway lift, breathe in, exhale, fold down. Inhale, one more, exhale to release. Bend the knees, bend the hips, slowly stand to your Urvastasana. Hands up high to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart. And then to the side, Samastiti. Well, we take both of your feet, your hip width distance apart. Let's go chair pose. Inhale, hands in prayer. Exhale, Uttanasana. Halfway lift, Arda. Exhale, step walker, hop, meet in Chaturanga. Up dog, inhale, down dog, exhale. Left foot forward, right heel down, rise, Virabhadrasana 1. Exhale to release, left foot lifts, Chaturanga. Urdhva Mukha, inhale, Adho Mukha, exhale. Right foot forward, left heel down, rise, warrior one. Exhale with control, come back down, right leg lifts, chaturanga, or vamukha, adho mukha shvanasana. Reset. Heels up, bend the knees, Uttanasana in front, halfway lift, and then slowly fold. Chair pose once more, hands up, exhale Uttanasana. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale step walk up, Chaturanga, up dog, downward facing dog. Left foot forward, right heel down, rise, warrior one. Exhale, come back down, step or lift, Chaturanga. Up dog, downward facing dog. Right foot forward, left heel down, rise, warrior one. Release as you exhale, descend with grace. Up dog, downward facing dog. Reset. Notice the breath. Notice the body as it warms up. Ground down on your heels, your fingertips. Heels up, bend the knees, step forward. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale to fold. Bend the knees, bend the hips, chair pose. Exhale, hands to heart. And then to the side, samastibihi. Take both of your feet wide, turn them out, hands forward, bend the knees, hinge the hips. Slowly go to your Malasana Yoga Squat. Elbows against the knees, hands in prayer to your heart. Lengthen the spine, reach up to your sky, soften the eyes. Come back to your intentions today. And then release, plant the hands down. We're slowly going to try a quick play, any kind. This time I'm going to do my crow pose. If you want to go with your headstand, handstand, any kind of inversion, go ahead and feel free to do. We're all going to meet in your downward facing dog. Left heel up, inhale, bend the knee, hip trick mandala. Slowly left foot steps in between your hands, right heel spins flat, hands up, warrior one. Breathe in long, breathe out to your warrior two. 
Inhale to stay. Exhale to reverse your warrior. Breathe in. Breathe out. Lean forward. Pajpakanasana. Breathe in. And out. Release. Let's go find a bind. Right hand to the left thigh. Left hand up. And then extend the front leg. And then reaching forward. Bound triangle pose. Left hand down to the mat. Gaze up high. In for three. Two. And one. Release. You bend into the left knee. Left hand to the 11 o'clock. Right leg reaches back. Bound half moon. Breathe in. Breathe out. Right hand reaches up. Let's go find Chapasana. Hand on your inner right foot. Release with control. Let's go find standing split. Right leg reaches up. Heart to the left thigh. Release. Step the right foot back. Right knee down. Find your half split. Or if we have some today, full split. Anumanasana. Heart down to the mat. Let's go to your center, to your split here. Hands up and overhead. Inhale. Exhale. Commit to the pulse. Breathe in. Breathe out. Hands down. Half split once more. Tuck the right foot. Make your fingers on your left big toe. We're going to transition to your Vashis Tassana to the right side. Left leg extended. Inhale. And exhale. Release. Step back while thing. Heart opens. Hip opens. Look down. Release. Come back. Three like a dog. One vinyasa. Take your reset. Right leg up. Bend the knee, hip joint bandala. Slowly stepping that right foot in between your hands. Arise, warrior one. Inhale. Let's go exhale to your warrior two. Breathe in long. Breathing out, reverse your warrior. Inhale to stay. Exhale to flow forward, Pajvapanasana. Right hand circles back, finding your inner right quad. Right hand reaches up. Extend the front leg and then with control, bound, triangle pose. Right hand to the center, to the mat, to the shin. See what feels good. Gaze up high if we have some more to do. Release. Hand on your one o'clock. Left leg reaches back. Half moon pose. Notice where the drishti lies. Release the bind once you're ready. Chapasana. Right hand down. Reaching the crown of your head forward. Inhale. Exhale with control. Transition towards your standing split. Rebend onto the right knee. Step the right foot back. Half split on this side. And then slowly full split if we have some on this side today. Heart reaching forward. Fold down. Once you're ready, come back center, half split once more, or 
hands up in overhead. Once you're ready, release. Half split if you weren't there. Right hand with your fingers grabbing into the right big toe. Vash is stasana strong on this side as well. Inhale to stay. Exhale to soften. Step back. Long thing. Release with control, three-legged dog once more. One vinyasa. Come back, downward facing dog. Heels up, knees to the ground. Next inhale, let's go to your camel. So take your knees here for this into part, hands on both hips. On your next inhale, roll the shoulders down and back, and then slowly press your hips forward as you take your hips up, lean back from the crown of your head. Hands on the ankles if it's available today. Breathing in. Breathing out. Release on your next breath. Take a seat first on your heels. Give yourself a moment to neutralize the spine. Once you're ready, come back to your present moment, coming at your child's pose. The very first one today. Take your knees wide as you extend all of your hands forward. Open the side bodies, relax the shoulders, press your armpits down. And then come back, tabletop. Cross the ankles and then let's take a seat at the center to your butterfly pose. Halfway lift as you inhale and fold down as you exhale. Land the head, land the forehead on the toes. How the lower back opens, how the inner thigh releases. Once you're ready, come back center, knees together, extend the left foot to the front. Jhana Sarasasana on this side. Hand on the right foot, press it forward and back and then side to side. And then a right foot on your inner left thigh, ground the right knee down. Right hand is going to reach for the big toe from the back, get the bind. Left hand reaches for the left big toe. Fall down once you feel good and notice the shape. Allow the body and its energy to flow through you. Come back and release. Release the bind. Knee up. Step the right foot on the outer left foot. Madhushyasana. Look forward and release. And then bend onto the left knee. Let's go find your fire log. Shins in parallel with each other. 
elbows pressing to your shins or let your hands reach forward. Allow this yummy opening on your outer glutes, outer thighs. Fire log can be intense, so notice your options on how to regress if this feels like it's too much. Come back to center, releasing in, grabbing a hold of your right foot once more, press it to the heart or swing it side to side. And then we're going to find your compass pose. Left hand on your outer right foot, extend that right leg, keeping that press on your right tricep here, maybe gazing at your sky. Inhale, and exhale, release, right foot, right leg, so hook on that right shoulder, right tricep, left foot gently hooks on your right foot, and then we're going to try your inversion for today. release once you're through bend the knees take a seat unravel the legs to windshield wiper left and right feel free to go longer there if you have some more to do everything on the opposite side now this time jano sirasasana on the left side or we're going to grab the left foot open it first swing side to side forward and back up and down you don't want to feel your open. Let's go left foot on your inner right thigh. Left knee grounds down. And then left hand crosses to the back to find a bind on your left big toe. Right, pick your fingers on the right big toe, fold down. Come back and release. Left foot plans across your right leg, Madhushyasana on the side. Keeping with the slow breath, notice the pace and how your body relaxes at this point. Release. And then let's go to your fire log. Right leg at the bottom this time, left leg on top. Again, reach forward with the heart. Maybe elbows ground down or reaching more to the top of the mat. Allow the heart to press deeply down. Open the thighs, open the glutes, open the lower back. Release once you're good. And then slowly, left foot. We're going to press it in first to the heart. And we're going to try your compass pose on this side. Right hand on your outer left foot. Extend it long. And then maybe you can gaze at the right side this time. Left leg on your right tricep. Inhale, and exhale, breathe in to release, very nice, let's go find your inversion on this side, right leg, right foot hooks on your left, press from your hands, and then extend that left leg to the left side, notice the balance. Once you're ready, lift and then take a seat. Untangle the legs, plant the feet, swing it side to side. One last opening here. Straddle sit. Legs to the sides. Open it wide. Nothing too much. 
Toes pointer flex. Hands up, inhale. And then exhale, fold down. Heart reaching to the mat, to the ground. Take your hands wherever it feels good today. Once you're ready, come back to your present moment. Take a seat, lean back with the hands, bend the knees one by one, and then slowly swing side to side. Neutralize the spine, release any tension that there may be from that pulse. And then we're going to come back to the center of our mats. We're going to lie down, almost there. Lower back, middle back, upper back, head all the way down. Swing the legs, bend the knees, find your legs up, Viparita Kirani, or let's go find ourselves in our flow pose. Toes up and overhead, hips up, bend the knees if this is too much, or keep it extended, point or flex the feet. Take your hands on your middle back if you need support. Once we're ready, let's go and release. Hands onto the sides. Neutralize the spine first. And then slowly give yourself one good hug. And then let's go rock ourselves back to a seat in your Sukhasana. Give yourself one good hug. Wrap your hands on your shoulders. Maybe chin will press the chest. Give yourself gratitude for taking space, for creating time, for giving yourself a chance, for opening up to the opportunities that were brought up to you today in your practice. May it spill on the outside of your practice on the mat spill in all of your life as you make your decisions when each opportunity arises. Nourishing our final moments here. Allow yourself to soften.
Let's close your practice today. On your next inhale, hands in prayer to the heart. Namaste.